the stuff charts open interest and fida data sunday edition without further ado let's go straight into kelagra market so first of all we had talked on <coughs> thursday that the channel is getting held if the support is confirmed long trades if the channel breaks short trades on the morning itself the support was confirmed and it was a very tradable market because the open was at 22061 and there was a very clean 300 odd points to capture so even if you missed the gap on open because it went and closed inside the opened inside the channel and it was steadily going up there was a trade to be made the channel held the bearish engulfing got invalidated um, and i was mentioning on the thursday night edition that there's a very high probability that if the market rallies we'll have a <clears throat> bullish hammer on the weekly closing and that is what happened uh, the market rallied and we got a bullish hammer on the weekly so this is a very clean hammer so monthly uh, so daily a very strong marubozu no questions there uh, and i mean i'm just ignoring saturday data because it was just a you know two hour affair uh, weekly very strong <coughs> what's this thing uh, bullish hammer on bank nifty on nifty now bank nifty gave the single biggest close since uh, jan 16th 2024 so this is like the highest close in a few months uh, and uh, see technically technically i can connect these tops and say that there might be some resistance here but it looks like i mean i'm i have a shadow of doubt little bit because if i connect this top with this top there is a temporary uh, resistance here i can make the same uh, case for nifty by connecting this top this top and this top but see that's a that could be a pause that could be a tiny dip but the bigger picture is the long term channel is still intact nifty is giving higher highs and lower lows if see lower low sorry uh, higher highs and higher lows low 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 right not the hindi low the english low and high 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 so higher highs higher lows clean bull trend same with bank nifty uh, higher lows and higher highs the trend is very cleanly bullish right so i'm going to delete this because maybe it could have some pause or something here but if it's taken out it's going to be uh, annulled very quickly and we'll we are we are looking at a very strong very very strong probability that uh, bank nifty will test the all time high again and perhaps it looking at this wedge the triangular rising wedge it might even go to you know uh, 49000 or 50000 territory right similarly nifty can easily go to 23000 plus perhaps even 24000 who knows right uh, uh, so ashutosh i saw the question i'm guess i'll just get it checked so uh, so <clears throat> Kush on the rocks is saying we can easily draw a cup and handle as well on that neckline. Uh, Kush, you basically mean bullish and going to 24,000 types, right? So, yeah, if that's what you meant, I'm on the same page. Uh, so, we are looking at a very strong rally possibility indeed that we might see, uh, I don't know, 23,500 plus. I don't know if this is going to break out of this channel. Uh, and that if 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 i were to you know uh, say that the market is going to rally even till let's say april uh, within the channel uh, we can assume that by april it will hit 24000 right and if i were to extend this channel well technically technically in may we can even see 25000 I mean, and 25000 is it's just uh, 10% more from here, right? Uh, because we are already at 22,500. Roughly 10% rally, we are at uh, uh, 25,000 and it can happen anyway. I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves. All I'm saying is that now there's a very strong possibility that we might see 23,000 at least, right? And I'm not saying that uh, 25,000 or 26,000 or 30,000. I'm saying 23,000 seems very, very likely given the way this market is rallying right now. Okay, so I'll just slightly tilt this because I drew this a little, yeah. Right, so 23,500, 23,600, something will happen. 
so that is the uh, big print and nifty so nifty has an upside of let's say another 23500 is another um, 1200 points away that's like 5% and bank nifty rallying from 48000 to 50000 is 4000 points sorry 2000 points that's also another 5% right so 5% 5% at least given in both indices it looks uh, <clears throat> it looks strong uh, uh, amit is asking nifty blow off top when amit i think what we are seeing now is the blow of the top right and uh, uh, <clears throat> it uh, looks like uh, we are in the uh, in the uh, bull phase now where we'll see some more um, <clears throat> some more what do you say rally right so if so i'm assuming that this rally is on at least till april and may two more months but i don't know after that what right uh, so this is nifty this is bank nifty so We'll write both of this, both clo Nifty closing at all-time high, Bank Nifty closing at recent all-time highs, Nifty daily candle on Friday is a Barbozu, closed in the channel, weekly candle is a bullish hammer, Bank Nifty also giving Marubozu and a weekly hammer, right? Now, with this strong writing on the wall, whoa, actually PCR is 2.43, but that seems highly unlikely. This has to be an error. I'll get it checked from the team. I've never seen a PCR of 2.43 in my life. Uh, maybe there is some very deep OTM. Yeah, this is very ajeeb. But see, the thing is this, right? This PCR we can ignore because what matters is this PCR around this area. And that is 0 0.9. Very healthy. Not uh, super mega bullish. But we can clearly see 23,000 is a support. 22,000 is a mega support. So support below 23,000, no significant resistances. This is very important. So this is resistances and PCR 0 0.9 <coughs> around the ATM, which is uh, bullish, but not like super duper bullish or anything. Now let's go to uh, this data, right, where we uh, where we do uh, uh, scheme bata de sabko, right? So the scheme of the FIS, so forget FIA, right? We'll focus on two things because FIA is only having mild positions now. The important thing to notice here is that Pro is long 1.8 L calls. Uh, Pro is short 1.45 L puts. Retail is short 2 lakh calls and they are short 25,000 puts, right? So net to OI is what we have to look on, concentrate here. So Pro is having mild positions, but Pro is also long 1.3 lakh, um, but 1.3 lakh is okay, okay. So, but we'll write out everything. FII, sorry, Pro and Pro, let's write first because Pro and Retail is what is really now driving the market. Pro long 1.8 L calls and short one5 L Oops. client short oh this is going to be painful short 1.9 lakh 2 L pull it there right calls and short 25k puts FII because FII is not as significant as pro ever since Jan made I have noticed before Jan it was an FII first now fest now it is more pro I think maybe some FIIs have taken a domestic entry. I don't know what happened, but since from the middle of Jan, Pro has been overshadowing FII consistently in their net to OI. Like in, in August, September, October, November, December, everything FII had the single biggest data, I mean OI of all the participants in options. But um, since the middle of uh, Feb or something, it has shifted. Uh, now FII is... Uh, 
long 12k calls and short long and long 1.4l puts right so basically client is uh, short calls in a big way pro is long calls in a big way this is what i'll take away from this because we know that fis always have a tiny i mean matlab 1 lakh types to long they are always long for uh, portfolio hedging or something which you have always noticed in a uh, in the data right now now let's see participant future data <laughs> futures nothing changed in the sense fi is slightly i mean fi is short futures pro is slightly long client is mega long okay but no change actually because if you look at it it's roughly 80k to 90k long so uh fi is short 60k pro is uh, long but fi is short 60k client long 80k but i'm going to ignore that data because there's no change in trend fi short 60k client long 90k no major changes here so ignoring this part because the change is what really matters this could be some residual because there has always been this residual interest from client for a long time so i'm not sure how to interpret this right because if you look at it it they have been long ever since uh, let's say end of jan so i'm not sure what is this uh, always on client oi Uh, since the middle of jan so i'm i'm just because i'm not seeing any significant changes in oi i'm uh, ignoring the trends in oi of futures finally coming to stock data uh i'll look at the friday data right because fr friday also nothing happened so fa on friday plus um some 40 crores no significant activity friday plus saturday put together verdict uh, never short an all time high stay long till trend reverses possibility of explosive blocks and there will be a short covering rally at a uh, uh there could be a short covering rally um uh, very very soon so amit is asking what's my view on gold and hang seng amit i think we'll see a 20 to 30% correction in gold in inr terms uh, i don't know maybe another year or so but then again so because you have asked and it's an interesting chart we'll go thoda of the syllabus and uh, um, <laughs> come to that so uh, uh, trades 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 doesn't matter what you do right uh, if it's a in a violent rally anything with high reward by risk ratio naked calls or bull call spreads now because amit has asked an extremely interesting question we will look at that right यूएस डी एनआर वी ऑलवेज नो की यार उसमें कुछ नहीं होता यस मोमेंट आई थिंक दिस इज लास्ट हो रहा बिफोर द बिग फॉल बट सी द थिंग इज डोंट ट्राई टू टाइम इट स्टे विथ इट एज लॉन्ग एज यू नो यू सी दी अपसाइड डॉलर इज स्टिल हियर मे बी डॉलर विल डिप अ लिटल बिट प्रॉबली आई थिंक देर कुड बी अ see i am tempted to think of at least a couple of percent correction in dollar because dollar has always stayed in this channel but anything more than that i don't think that's going to happen because there is a support for dollar from central bank at least but uh, the question now is xau inr right yeah so this is the gold inr right and as you can see i have drawn some kind of a <coughs> <clears throat> channel here and i can also do this but that's not a channel uh, 
this is the channel which I have been following in dollar gold for some time. And as you can see, this is not a very perfect channel. I mean, because I, I, I maybe I can do this, this will be better. But the uh, writing on the wall seems like gold can go up a little bit more in INR terms. But I think there will come a point when from the current, uh, I think they are uh, uh, showing it in some other troy ounce uh, or something as the base. So, so, but the larger picture is there is a 1.8 number here that will maybe we'll get a 1. Uh, I don't know 1.5. So 1.8 divided by 0.3 by 1.8. There maybe there's a 20% correction in gold coming. 20%, which is not significant. I mean, I mean, oh, sorry, it is actually significant coming to this. But if this system is real, we'll see gold slightly going up more and maybe it will come down and hit this level, right? And the reason why I'm saying this is uh, twofold. One is, of course, USD uh, to gold ratio. And as you can see, Yeah, you can you can see this, right? This is a uh, gold channel system. You can see that there was a middle of the channel which was held, bottom of the channel, middle of the channel, lot of consolidation, middle of the channel bounce. So if this is real, we might see gold even at 1200 uh, uh, spot, right? 1200. The, the problem is, see, um, let me put it this way, right? If this was an American show and you were asking me about gold, <laughs> It's very um, easy for me to say that, uh, you know, um, gold is at uh, 2000, uh, 2100, 2200 kind of levels in USD and it will come to 1200, right? That's a very easy thing to say because the system is very clearly formed. The problem with asking what do you think about gold in India is uh, it is not XAU INR. XAU is the symbol for gold. It's not gold INR. It is gold dollar and then dollar INR. So gold dollar is very clearly uh, visible here, but gold INR is, has a USD INR coming in between and USD INR I'm having some difficulty interpreting what's happening. Uh, but let's put it this way, right? If there is a crash happening in gold, uh, dollar will go up against INR. So we'll have two things. One is gold crashing against dollar. The other thing is, uh, dollar strengthening against INR. So even if gold hits a, let's say 40, 50% correction against the dollar, if INR weakens 30% against the dollar, then I am not sure if this is going to play out the way we are expecting it to play out. Uh, yeah, Kush, I hope there is no cup and handle here. Otherwise I'm going to really, really regret a lot of things in life because I have zero gold exposure. And I can think of at least half a dozen uh, people who will curse my decision to stay away from gold at this level. Yeah, maybe you're right. There could be a blow off the top, but at least as of now, I'm not seeing. Uh, I, I I think there is a probability that we will see gold at 1200, right? But then again, what do you what do we know? So so basically, interesting question, Amit asked. My answer is this. Uh, uh, so. This is our um, analysis for today. We'll see you again uh, tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining. And as usual, please take care and keep your capital safe. Bye.